Okay, someone did a thing called 10 most hated Big Brother players of all times. And the first two is Paul and Rachel. And I will have to agree with that. Rachel is very annoying. And when people go, oh, I love Rachel, I'm like, are you stupid? Like, how can you love a girl like her that repeats herself, says the same thing, full of herself, and like, is annoying, and pulls the same way, like, what the hell, let's see what the next two are, I don't know why they're doing like, this crap and not talking in the video but yeah I'm gonna have to do some editing so sorry about that Adam Adam won one of his seasons I remember Adam a lot of people don't like Adam I don't know why, I didn't have a problem with them, but then again, he won Big Brother and yet I don't remember him much at all. I know he was with the Big Brother season that that had, um, where they had to be coupled up and sleep in the same bed, and I think he had Shirley at the time. I think. Not sure. I know Natalie was a part of that with the whole many, many, many. I want you. I'm done doing. Done. The girl. So, yeah. They should have Natalie on the list because she was annoying. But, anyways, next. Even though he won the game, the jury didn't really feel good about voting for him. Um, that's not true. If the jury didn't like him, they wouldn't have voted for him. He was a community player who made dis something remarks about disabled children. Da 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 da. Okay, I never, I don't remember him ever doing that. So, you're gonna have to prove that. With like a clip or something. Let's go into the next player, please. We don't need to talk about each player, especially when you're not talking in the video. I didn't come to this video to to read. If I wanted to read, I would Google. I came to this video to hear you, not read. Okay, enough about Adam. Let's move on to the next person. Okay, how can you say that Danielle from Big Brother 2 is the most hated player? Who hates Danielle? I don't hate Danielle. I love Danielle. I'm glad she won. And the way she won. Because nobody knew she and Jason were working together. And that was pretty awesome that nobody knew that. So how can she be the most hated person of the house? There's a lot more people in that house over the years, over the 21 years, that you could be hating and that could be on the, on the list. Like, how can she be on that list. I don't hate her. And if you do, comment down below and tell me why. Well, this is what she had to, or this person had to say about her. Danielle's sneaky plans and trash talk in her diary room sessions. They came back bitter and voted for Lisa to win instead. Okay. Lisa was kind of annoying and somebody you should hate on the show. But this is why they made a jury house 
because they didn't like that the jury could hear what they had to say in the diary room about people. It, people have been saying for years that if the jury didn't get to see the diary room sessions, Danielle would have won. And just because she said nothing but the truth in the diary room does not make her a person to hate. Just saying. She was just stating the truth. And that's what makes her cool. Okay, we already went through why I hate Paul and why a lot of people hate Paul, but yet a lot of people love Paul. Doesn't make any sense. Like, let's move the fuck on. Okay, I don't know why you put Evil Dick as a hated person because nobody hates Evil Dick. I haven't once heard anybody ever on Twitter go, I hate Dick, I hate Dick from Big Brother. No, everybody loves Dick from Big Brother. It's just the thing is, you don't want to piss Dick off because Dick is one of those people that <clears throat> he will tell you the truth. He will tell you like he knows it, sees it, and he'll even, even if you're a fan of Dick, you gotta watch what you say around him on Twitter, because he will tell your ass off. He won't cookie sugar it, he won't care that you're his biggest fan. He won't give two damn. He will just tell it like it is. And if he doesn't like what you gotta say, he will call you a name, be mean, and he will tell you how stupid you are, and he may block you because he just can't take what you gotta say anymore. And I'm sorry, but half of what he says is true about the person that said something dumb to him. Um... I don't talk to him because I don't, because he's told me off a couple of times, which I thought, yeah, it's rude, but that's dick. Either you like him or you don't, and yeah, he does do things on Twitter he shouldn't be doing, like showing porn, like taking people's photos from Big Brother seasons, and like making them look disgusting like like putting dicks on their heads or something like that that's just not cool and Twitter don't like that but I don't understand why you guys are putting him on the list of most hated when fans don't hate him I don't ever hear fans saying I hate dick no was so hated he evil dick was so hated he was even nicknamed evil dick okay he was not named evil dick because they hate him because nobody hates him he was called evil dick because he was evil and mean in the house and that i think her name was jenny or jennifer or whatever she deserved getting water poured on her head because she had no right to break his cigarettes and he is called evil dick because he is mean in the house and he is who he is not because people hate him because nobody hates him while he played the game well and was adored by fans wasn't really well liked in the house Okay, just because he wasn't well liked in the house, and the house just didn't like him much, then doesn't mean that he's the most hated. And second of all, when did the whole house say that they hated him? Because if they hated him, why didn't they vote him out? Why did he win the game?
Ain't you supposed to get out people you hate in the house? Not, not people you like? Think about that. And also, even though he... Let's go back here real quick. Even though he had issues and problems with his daughter, Danielle, that does not mean that he should be a person to hate. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Now, why is everybody hating on Shannon? Is it because... She used it, someone's toothbrush and brushed the toilet with it. And they was like, uh-uh, no, no. Is it because she broke up with your favorite Dr. Will? Like, how is she a hated person? Because I didn't hate her. I don't get how people can hate her. And then you guys say she's the significant of a mean girl a uh, drago was just a nasty person i guess that's her last name i don't know um how is she a nasty person how is she a mean girl just because she did one thing who deserved it by the way i think it was jesse wasn't it jesse no it wasn't jesse it was i don't know whose toothbrush it was but they deserved it they were being mean and she decided to take the toothbrush into the toilet yes they had to get her a new one yes she had to tell him what she did but that doesn't qualify her as a mean girl just saying just saying talked down to other people in the house and made fun of others um can you prove that with a clip because I never saw that. Even implied that one fellow house guest, <coughs> excuse me, was overweight. Um, also, can you prove that? Got a clip of her saying that? Or not, yeah, doing those things? Because I never saw it. She never did no such thing. She crossed a line when she scrubbed a toilet with someone's toothbrush. Um, she didn't cross the line when she did that. The guy deserved it. No offense, but he did. That was epic, and that was cool, and that was the best moment of Big Brother history. Allied with the right people, but clearly she was just because she was voted out night. Okay, moving on. Okay, I don't know how to say her name. A-A-R-Y-N. Is that Aaron? Is that how you say, say her name? I don't know. I don't really remember her in the house. That's how unrelevant she is to me. And by the looks of her photo, she looked like somebody I didn't care for in the house. Not hated, just didn't care for. Maybe reading some of what this person has to say will jog some memories. I don't know. But she's irrelevant to me because I don't remember her. And not somebody to hate, basically. One of the most just something people to ever be on the show. She was so ignorant to her hateful words that... She was totally surprised when she was deceived with a sea of booze from the audience upon her eviction. Okay, I would like proof of that. Because the rule on Big Brother is you're not allowed to boo when people come out. You have to clap and cheer when they come out. And so I don't believe that the crowd booed ever. You're not allowed to do that. And I won't clip or two of her being ignorant to her hateful words like I need proof
at it. The center of one of the most conspicuous seasons of the show. Um, no. No show was controversial season or whatever you want to call it. Made many comments during both live feeds on broadcast episodes that many believe to be racist, homophobic, and alongside talking. Okay. Got clips of that to prove it? Because I never once heard her well then again, I don't remember who you know, her at all. And I think if she was racist or homophobic, I would remember her. Okay. Now that he talk about Rachel Rowley and what a bitch she is and how she's like a flounder scale life Jackie me, me, me. I feel sorry for her damn kids and for Brandon that has to put up with like like when her and Brandon are together, like even on uh, Amazing Race when they were on together, she was annoying as hell. She was annoying as hell on Amazing Race, always whining, always crying, never getting her way, and Brandon's always gotta give her her way, and then on Big Brother when they were in the house together, they, they both was annoying together. But then when you got rid of Rachel and just had Brandon in the house, he got to be himself, he got to do what he wanted, and he was actually a, per a decent person to get along with, person that I could watch on TV. But you add Rachel and it's like, uh-uh, no way, no how. She's just icky. And if you ha hate Rachel, then you have to hate her husband, Brandon. I don't know why they're showing this picture with Jesse the Protect. He better be on this list because he is the most hated person in the house. He... He's a wrestler and he went back to wrestling and he think he's selfish and all he thinks about is his, is his damn self and when they brought him back in the house as a punishment or something it was annoying as hell. Like we don't want to hear him talk because every time he talks and it comes out of his mouth is him talking about himself and showing off his muscles. He should be on the list. Frankie gone down. Okay. When I first saw Frankie and he was pretending to be somebody he wasn't because they didn't want people to he didn't want people to know that his sister was Ana Grande. Have you say her name? That Frankie I liked. I thought, oh, that's a cool Frankie. He's funny. I like him. He should win this. Da da da. Then when he got, they found out that he's Ana Grande's brother. I he started showing him the way he really is and showing himself and I was like okay scratch what I said before I do not like this guy this guy is the most annoying guy in the whole world can't stand this guy he's full of himself he thinks he's famous just because his sister's famous he thinks he's all that and and that he only cares about himself and if he doesn't get to see his sister perform when she's in town or whatever he cries like a big baby and he thinks that because she's his sister that he should get benefits and things that she gets and it just doesn't work that way dude and he doesn't know how to do makeup whatsoever I just can't stand this guy he's like Johnny Fairplay in a way except for he wouldn't he wouldn't say that <coughs> his grandmother died as a fake thing, like Johnny Fairplay or Survivor. But we should do the most ten hated Survivor people. That would be interesting. But you see Zach there? Zach should be on the list too of most hated people because he's very, very annoying. 
I can't stand that that guy. See, there he is with his sister. I don't know how she puts up with him. Come on, let's go to the next person. Quit showing that ugly ass. Jack. Hmm. I wouldn't consider him a person I hate. Just a person I can't stand. Well, okay, I hate. I dislike him. He kind of annoys me. He always thinks he's got to have his shirt off and jot his muscles. He's full of himself. And yeah, I just don't care for him. If I was to pick all the people that I hated on Big Brother. Sorry about that. Batteries died. Don't know where I left off because the batteries died. But <clears throat> I'm glad Jesse made number one on the list. Um, because he's the most annoying person in the world, and I don't think anybody on the show on Big Brother loves him. I think a lot of people hate him on the show. If you are one of the people that like him, please comment down below and tell us why, because... Mm -mm, no way, no how, no, 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 no. <coughs> And he's always doing brand deals for Big Brother. And Big Brother is always obsessed with what he's got to say on Twitter. It's just annoying. I miss Pete Like, shut the fuck up. That is it on the list. Um, let me know in the comments. Down below. Who... If you agree with this list, disagree, who you like from this list, who you hate from this list, and why, and who would you put on the list? If you want me to do top 10 Big Brother people I hate, or top 10 people on Survivor that I hate, oh, let me know in the comments down below, and I will do so. So then, thanks for watching, and later haters. <laughs>